it's a really satisfying thing to be able to use the grain that you've grown on the farm to actually make something that you can eat yourself. And visitors that come to the farm here are able to use the wheat, grind their own flour, and then we can make bread together. And at the end of the day, you actually have a lovely, fresh, warm loaf that you can eat before you go home. OK, Tim, so we've got two big stones, haven't we? In between them, we've put the grain. And when you rub them together, you crush the grain and the flour will come out to the edge. You can grind your grain, the wheat seeds, in the old-fashioned way in between two big stones, or you could use the little hand mill. But obviously nowadays, most of the grain goes away. All those seeds will go into a great big mill where they're actually processed into flour in huge machinery. It's still nice just to try it for yourself and feel what it's like. The flour that you get will be your very own, so it'll be rather special. So now Okay then, so we've got some of the ingredients in and we're going to mix together the yeast with the water and the yeast is actually something that's alive. You've got food in for the yeast and you've got warm water and it likes to actually get going and grow. Rise and rise and rise. One of the best parts when you're making the bread is to actually knead the dough. And the kneading is where you actually pull it and stretch it and squash it and roll it and bang it on the table. You put lots and lots of energy into it. And the more work you use on kneading the dough, the better a loaf of bread you'll get out. Almost everybody enjoys pummeling a lovely piece of dough until it's stretchy and soft and able to make it a really nice loaf of bread. Can you remember when we made the bread before? Did we do it all in one go, or did we have to go away for a bit in between? Um, had to go away for a bit. While you're waiting for the bread to cook, a really fun thing to do is to actually make your own butter. It's surprisingly easy to do. All you actually need is a pot of double cream and a jam jar. Pour the one in the other and shake. And at the end of it, you will end up with a lovely pool of buttermilk and a nice big pat of butter. Tell me what you thought of the bread that you ate. Um, well, really yummy. Really yummy. Well done. Faye, how about you? What do you think of the bread you're eating? Mm. Um, this is delicious. Delicious. Yeah. It was amazing to see them all eating what they'd made, and I think they loved it. Absolutely loved it, didn't they? The bread they made in the bread makers, I don't think they liked as much as the bread they made by hand. And the butter was amazing, shaking the jar up and everything. A pleasure to see, because they're really going for it. If you can make it yourself, then obviously your bread is going to be wonderful. It will taste lovely and be a really nice experience. But whenever you get bread and wherever it's come from, when you eat it, it's just really nice to remember that it came from flour, from a seed that grew on a farm in our beautiful countryside. The bread is very delicious. Homemade butter, lovely. Gorgeous.